What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. This is taking place two days after the last one. Basically, we're doing a story sale today. We have all of these shoes to post over here and those ones over there and a little bit on the floor. These ones I have to post, those are sold. So I'll be packing those up. But before we do that, we have a nice little package here to unbox. Just not gonna show you my address. I actually don't know where the knife is though. So we're gonna use this tape. This, this might take me a minute, so just, just bear with me here. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Beautiful. So we got some 350s that we got from Confirm, and it is the Blue Stripe 350s. Bro, if these released in 2016, this would have broke the internet, but they released in 2022, so I guess not as much hype, but they are going for a decent amount. They're going for like 350 right now. So we're gonna toss these up in the story sale as well. And the story sale will be probably long gone by the time you guys get to watching this. But everything that doesn't sell on Instagram is gonna be up on my eBay page. And that'll be the first link in the description. So if you guys wanna go check that out, feel free. You guys can always shoot your offers, see what I accept, or I could just say no, I don't know. That's what we picked up in for today. Now I'm going to go start taking some pictures to post them up on Instagram and hopefully we can sell some stuff. So I will pick up the camera throughout the day. All right, so that took an astronomical amount of time, but we're finally done and some stuff is starting to sell. We made two sales already, wrote it down on the back of this label right here. I'm not gonna show you guys the address, but also haven't told you guys in a minute about how I used to ship my stuff and I've been getting some questions lately. So I'm gonna tell you guys, Sheldon, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to blow this out, but uh, yeah, here you guys go. It's called pirateship.com. I'm not getting paid by them. Although if they wanna toss me the bag, feel free to do it. But you just come over here, create your label, put in your name, address, and then you press get rates and then you pay for it. So it's pretty clutch. It saves a ton of money on shipping. And if you have the right credit card, you can earn a ton of points because a lot of business credit cards, they give you like either triple the points or double cash back or something like that when you use shipping websites. So yeah, it's pretty lit. I'll keep updating you guys when stuff sells. We already have a nice little stack back there um, that I'll break it down tomorrow morning when I'm packing. But yeah, that's it for now. All right, so I have been sitting in this chair since almost 10 a.m. It is now 8.30. So we've been here for a minute, but I just gotta say, I am so thankful for you guys. Like, it is nuts. We sold this whole stack here today, just this little this little pile right here. And I still have a whole bunch of DMs I haven't gone through yet. So I am forever grateful for you guys. So thank you. I think I'm gonna call it a night there. Just scroll through my phone, make a few more orders and see what happens. But tomorrow morning, we have a lot to do. We're gonna go to the sneaker store in the morning because I did see a few steals that I wanted to go pick up earlier. I just didn't have time today. The main mission tomorrow is to try to ship all this out. I think I think I can get it done. It's not gonna take that long. I just have to time my day right and we should be able to do it easy. Super successful day. Can't thank you guys enough and I'm gonna call it a day. All right, what is up guys? I just got back from a doctor's appointment that I forgot I had today. So that was pretty sick. Uh, passed out when they were drawing blood from me. So that was pretty sick. Learned something new about myself today that I pass out when I get my blood drawn. So that's sick. But let's let's move on to some shoes. We got these earlier, paid retail for these, so it was 210 after tax. And they're going for like 270, so we should be able to make like $30 pretty easily on those. And the mailman just popped by to drop off this package back here, boys. So we're gonna open this up real quick. I'm paying $500 for everything inside this box. Starting off, it's just a box of beaters here. We got some Carmine, Sixes, not terribly dirty. I just have to clean them up a little bit and they should be fine. And everything is a 7Y in this box. And I believe I paid, so the car mines I'm paying 50 bucks for with no box. Next shoe in the box, we got these cool gray 11s in a size 7Y with no box as well. These were $10. Some Jubilee 11s, just dirty on the bottoms. We're paying $70 on these. This is a pretty decent one. Red denim threes. No box, size seven. We are paying $50 on those. Here we got probably the best shoe in this box. Some fire red fours in a size seven. Pretty clean on the bottoms. We're getting these for 120 bucks. So that's not bad. Next up, some top three fives. Pretty yellow on the bottoms. Top three fives, 50 bucks. We got three more shoes in here. We got some stealth fives. These we also got for $50. This is the only one with the box. We got these Jordan 9 University Golds for $100. And then last, ooh, I got a little whiff of feet on that one. And then last but not least, we have these Court Purples that are fake. 
he asked me if I wanted them and I was like, you know what, why not? I'm sure we can find something fun to do with them. Dude, just look at the shine on them. But I'm gonna break these down. I'm definitely gonna be taking some some of these parts from this, uh, like the laces, the insole, and I'll probably keep the box as well. Uh, but the shoes, I'll probably just toss in the garbage or something. Or like, I don't know. I'll find something to do with them. But uh, yeah, these are pretty fake. Here, we'll just do a little lesson while, while we're going through this. So right off the bat, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but that label is no bueno. And if you don't know what that means, that means not good. Letters just way too thin. Like you could just tell, it's hard to explain, but the, it should have some, it should make a sound. It should sound like there's a little bit of texture on the label. Next up, box. I don't know if you guys can see, you see those ridges inside the box? Jordan 1 boxes, you shouldn't be able to see that and it should not be making a cardboard sound. So that's uh, no good. Next up, box has way too much space in it. Like there's literally this, I can fit a whole three fingers in that space. Usually it's just like a one or two. Like these fit pretty good inside the box. But now we move on to the shoes. Leather is super shiny. Should not be this shiny. The smell, it just doesn't smell good. It smells like cheap glue. Just the feel is really bad. Size tag, not good. The tongue just has no wrinkles in it whatsoever. It's just straight flat foam. The back is way too flimsy. Like these are just not good fakes. So that is that. That was everything inside the box at $500. So I'm gonna look over everything real quick, make sure everything's good, and I'm gonna pay my dude out. So if you're watching this video, which you probably will be because you said you watch the videos, thank you for the deal. And I'm gonna get to started packing some boxes because it's a little later in the day. I honestly don't know if I'm going to make the deadline or not, but I kind of expected this to happen. So on my Instagram yesterday, I said it'll be out either Monday or Tuesday. So we're good on that end. But I'm gonna try to get a few of them out today. If not, that's tough. We'll go out tomorrow morning. We're probably gonna do a little bit of cleaning tonight and posting, so. All right, so I was just going through my inventory, writing in all the new stuff we just got in, and I got a little nice little email on the side of my screen. And I know I talk a lot of shit on eBay, but I gotta give them their props. They sided with me for once. I sold some shoes, some UNC fours, shipped them to their authenticity. They passed. They went to the buyer. Buyer said they didn't. Do, they weren't matching the pictures. And I was like, oh, okay. Honestly, I don't want another neg negative feedback on my account because it's gonna lose sales. So I was like, okay, I'll just send it back. Like, it's fine. I accept the return. And then I just get an email that said, case closed. We have looked over the claim. And they said, nah, like no refund. This doesn't break any eBay guidelines or, and the pictures match the description. So thank you eBay for siding with me. Appreciate it. Your boy uh, is nice. So feel free to throw a bag anytime you guys want to, you know, maybe work. We can hit the email. Um... But yeah, thank you guys for siding with me. And if you're that person, look at the pictures, bro. And look at the description. So yeah, I will see you guys whenever I see you. All right, so I'm starting to pack boxes now. And I'm not going to go through every single shoe and tell you guys how much I made. But I'll occasionally just whip out some shoes, show you guys what I made, and that kind of stuff. So... Also, real quick, I'm just packing up this no box shoe real quick, some orange metallic fours, but these have no box and I don't have a replacement box to put them in. And a lot of people, they just throw the shoes inside of a box um, and they rattle around and I feel like it's just not very presentable for when you open the box. Cause I don't know, the box could get stepped on or I don't know. But I usually use just this brown paper, even if there's no box, I still want to protect the shoes somewhat. And I recommend you guys do the same just so your buyers have a better experience when they open the shoes and they can see they were nicely packaged instead of just like, dropped in a box so just a small little effort uh goes a long way so yeah back to packing all right we are we are done finally that took me like three three and a half hours ish but all the packages are done look at that that is uh that's all you guys are doing over there i don't really like how that one sticks out though i used a different box and it doesn't fit oh well i'm gonna take a nice little flick i'm gonna flick up for the ig then I'm gonna try to find a U-Haul van so I can just take this all in one load instead of taking like five, six trips with my car. So I'm gonna call around, see who's got a cargo van because I'm pretty sure there's cheap if they use them for like an hour. So yeah, let's see if we can find a van. Hi, do you guys have any of the cargo vans available? Did you, when did you need it for? Preferably today. Okay. Just for like two, three hours. Okay, yeah, I have one available. Okay, perfect. Um, can I come get it now? Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye -bye. And just like that, we have secured a cargo van. All right, and we are on our way to go pick up the U-Haul van. You're probably wondering why I'm doing this because it's only like 20 bucks. Um, and I believe UPS pickup is $20. 
And if I were to do that today, they would not come today because it's just way too late. And if I just did it with my car, it would take forever. And I don't know if I would make it uh, getting all the packages there on time. So I'd rather just spend the 20 bucks, get a U-Haul van and take everything in one load and just not worry about it again. And then just go drop off the car later. So yeah, should be pretty simple. I'm gonna go down there right now. Hopefully there's no issues. All right, we picked up the van. It was a little bit more than I thought. It was $30 instead of 25 or 20. Um, that's still not bad. It's literally pretty plain. It's just a van. But yeah, I mean, it's a van and it, it's doing what it's gotta do and there's not much to it. Um, so now let's go pick this, these shoes up. All right, U-Haul truck is loaded up. We got my hard worker, bro. Hey man, I appreciate your help so much, man. You guys see it in the back, uh, U-Haul stuff. Actually not stuff, stuff, but it's, it's, uh, it's like 45% stuff. So uh, we're gonna go drop these off at UPS. Um, yeah. All right, I uh, just pulled up to UPS. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go unload this. Aaron's gonna stay right there. All right, we just dropped off the packages at U-Haul. Not, no, I'm sorry. It's been a long day. At UPS, it took me three trips. So nice little light stuff. Now we're about to go drop off the U-Haul and go pay Aaron in the form of a beverage, so. All right, just finished up, dropped off the U-Haul truck. Uh, it took like, what, like an hour? So now I'm gonna go back home and probably start cleaning some shoes that we got in yesterday. But that took me, that took me a real long time. That took me from like nine o'clock to like now. So yeah. You, got, you have anything you wanna say? No, you're good. I'm just good. Fire. All right, so we are back home now. I'm getting ready to clean. Got the station getting ready to go. But I just got back an order from Goat and this one sucks. I got these Space Gems back and they're fake. It is completely my fault. I should have checked them better. Getting them back, I immediately, the smell off, the insole stitching's off, carbon fiber's off. So it just, it sucks. We would have made some decent money off these two, but I'm just gonna keep them as beaters. Yeah, I paid 384 for them. Yeah, it just sucks, dude. It really sucks. But if you guys see me wearing some 11s, just know they are foo. I mean, besides the fact they're fake, they're clean, bro. Space Jam 11s are clean. I would hoop in them, but like, I don't trust fakes at all for hooping in, so. Yep, Space Jam 11's fake, so that sucks. But I will keep the box though, and the shoe trees, because these, these come in handy, and the box too, just in case I ever find a no box pair of Space Jam 11s, so. Yep, new personals, peep, what you guys think. It's just, it, it happens, bro, like, it, 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 it's tough. There's, there's, I, like, in hindsight, yeah, I should have checked, but I was just being lazy at the time and just didn't look as hard as I should have. So, completely on me, this is my mess up. But now, we're gonna go clean some shoes. We don't have too many to clean, just the no box pairs that came in from the other day. I think it's like six or seven pairs. They're all super small and they don't really need a lot of work, just the bottom need to be scrubbed and released. So, I will see you guys. Um, I don't know, I'll like occasionally pick up the camera to show you guys the progress. Okay, so I've cleaned three of them and in all honesty, I'm done. I'm gonna call it a night and I will pick up the camera in the morning. You guys can see, I'll show you guys real quick what we cleaned. So we cleaned these top three fives. Um, they're still yellow on the bottoms, but just no dirt. Carmine sixes, pretty clean on the bottoms. And then last but not least, this is probably the one that's gonna make us the most, uh, fire red fours. And they are clean on the bottoms, so. We still have those stealth fives to clean, those cool grays, the jubilees up there, the denim threes, and then those fire red fours right there. I'll probably wake up early tomorrow, go to the gym, shower, and then clean those shoes and get them posted as soon as possible so we can have as much money as possible for Kobe's on Saturday. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, what's up guys? Uh, starting the day, actually not starting the day. I just haven't picked up the camera yet. But went to the gym this morning, came back, showered, uh, finished the pairs that I didn't clean last night. I think there was like three or four pairs. I still need a little bit of cleaning. No, no, uh, no scrubbing at all. But my little lint shaver thing, I'm recharging it so I need to get the lint out. But as of right now, I just extended my stay for Kobe's this weekend. I was just gonna stay Friday night, but I'm staying Friday and Saturday night, so I have a little bit more time to meet with some local San Diegoans. San Diegans? I don't, I don't know what you people call from San Diego, but San Diego locals, because I usually have a few people that I go meet up there. So I'm just staying the extra day, and I also decided I'm going to be vending a few pairs of shoes. I have my girl going too, so she's gonna help me vend. Aaron's going as well, so he's gonna bring some pairs to vend. I'm actually going to pick them up right now. But before all that, we gotta get ready. So I've never vended before at an event ever. This is my first time ever, like officially vending, like selling shoes. 
like from the beginning not just buying shoes and putting them up for sale so yeah i'm on my way to go pick up aaron we're gonna go to staples and we're gonna go buy a little sign and some sticky it's like sticky paper stuff that i can put on the bottom of the shoes so you guys can see how much the shoes cost and whatnot i'm gonna pick up the camera when we get to staples and i find the stuff i need all right just finished up at uh staples here picked up some marking tags so i'm gonna do all the shoes i'm taking tonight uh you literally just tie them tie them around the laces and write the prices on them and the size uh and if they have the box or not got some tri race markers and then we got this dry erase uh paper so we can write like i don't know bro what are we gonna write on it like uh maybe like our instagram at buying and selling yeah stuff like that so yeah, that's it. All right, I am back from picking up the little stuff from Staples. Now the time has come to decide which 20 pairs out of the inventory that we want to take. So I'm thinking maybe a little bit of hype stuff. I have some Alma Meniers, some Red Thunders, and I'm probably gonna be taking some lightly used stuff, nothing too crazy. And maybe a few pairs that I've just had forever and cannot sell. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. And then I'm gonna start tagging them and whatnot. And then I'm gonna make a sheet with everything on it so I can keep track at the event. All right, so just a little update. We sold a few pairs of shoes. I'm gonna go through them real quick. Sold these on GOAT as brand new. They came back. I guess they didn't meet their expectations, um, but we just sold them on Instagram. We're making like roughly $30 on these. Definitely not as much as I thought I would have made, but it's cool. Honestly, I'll take it. This month, I've been trying to prioritize more volume and less profit margins. So before I would try to shoot for 50 and above, but it just, it did not work. I wasn't able to get like a hundred pairs at $50 margins per month. So I've kind of changed my way of thinking and buy as many shoes as possible, flip them as fast as possible and do that as many times in a month. So the goal for right now is 150 pairs a month bought and sold we're gonna see and then after a few months i'm gonna compare and contrast which one was better trying to shoot for the higher profit margins with less shoes or more volume less margins so it'll be interesting to see but so far i'm liking the volume because it just keeps me on my toes more and i can give a little bit better pricing got these taupe fours that we sold size 11. uh we sold these for 320 and that's or 330. I think it was 330, but that's pretty good. They were worn like twice and we made like $30 on those. These mids, we lost money on. I bought these uh, thinking they were uh, able to pass as dead stock or brand new. They're very clean, but they unfortunately are not brand new. So we took a $20 loss on those. These dunk highs, sold them for a steal, honestly. I think 120, probably worn like twice. And I made like $10 on these. I had them for like three months. So I was like, honestly, bro, it's not worth having them for another couple months and just sitting on the shelf. So I'd rather just take my 10 and dip. Sold these on GOAT is brand new too, and they did not pass, so that's tough. But we still made $51 on these, which is not terrible. They literally look brand new, but they said there was a scuff on them. I guess they were talking about this. You can't even see it. Look, you see that little thing right here? I guess that's what they think was a scuff because there's literally nothing else on the shoe. We almost made 150 bucks on these, but instead we're making 50. So good luck to the person that gets these. Maybe you'll be able to flip them as brand new. But yeah, unfortunately, I will not. That's everything we sold today. Five pairs. Not bad, especially after coming off of like a 50, 60 pair weekend. I'm going to try to sell as much as possible in the next couple days to get as much money for Kobe's as possible because volume, volume, volume. So yeah, I am super excited for this weekend. I can't wait for you guys to see the video. Don't think the video's done yet. We still have tomorrow. But yeah, I'm going to call it a night here. Wasn't too productive of a day. We sold a few shoes. We cleaned some shoes. But besides that, not much else happened. And that's to be expected. Not every day you're going to be bringing in 20, 30 pairs. Some days you might just get one, clean a couple pairs of shoes, sell some shoes. And then there's days you don't get anything done. You won't clean any shoes. No shoes are bought. Maybe you'll sell a shoe. Maybe you even won't. And that's just life, man. Honestly, you have your highs and your lows. You just got to keep going out. But yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. All right, what's up, guys? So not going to lie, I really didn't do much today because there's not really much to do. I leave for Kobe's tomorrow, like afternoon-ish. But yeah, we did sell a few things today. I'm gonna show you guys that. But before that, you guys have been asking for a crypto update. I'm gonna show you guys, just to let you know, we are down astronomical. But I'm gonna break it down and some moves I've made and maybe you can learn from it. I don't know, but I'm just gonna tell you guys because I maybe you guys find it interesting, I don't know. So I honestly don't remember what our current investment is in crypto, but I remember there was probably like five-ish thousand in there. The Coinbase portfolio is down to $1,951. Uh, and that consists of 0.46, so almost half Ethereum, which I've staked and it's earning 
5% APR. So that's not terrible. It's just sitting there. I'm not gonna use it. So might as well earn some interest off of it anyways. I'm getting some crazy passive income on that. Next, we have crypto.com. We have 1,974 crypto.com tokens. We had a lot more earlier, but I transferred that into Solana. A few days ago, I was stumbling across Twitter and I saw this project. I honestly don't know what it's called. It's called Steppin. It's an NFT project. This is not a sponsored by in any way. I'm not even gonna put links to this stuff because I don't want you guys to get finessed if this is a scam. So just letting you guys know that. You guys wanna go look it up, look it up, be my guest, but I'm not putting any links to anything and that's that. Basically, there are these shoes. They're digital shoes that you can buy with Solana. The cheapest shoe right now, the floor price is 9.7 Sol. I think I had like 13. So I went and had and bought myself. I actually don't know if I can show you the number. I don't know if you can do anything with that, but I bought this shoe right here. And what you do is you run, I have to run between four to 10 kilometers an hour, which is like two, two miles an hour to like six or something like that. And basically I earn GST token, which is, I guess their token or whatever. And it's worth around $4 right now. I've seen some people earning 20 to 60 GST tokens a day. And those tokens are worth $4 right now. So that's some decent bread, I'm not gonna lie. But of course, each shoe has their different attributes. Like there's rare ones, uncommon, more rare and legendary and stuff like that. And honestly, I really don't know what that means because I have yet to try out the app. But tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go on a little run and see what this is about. Cause I'm honestly really interested in this. I put a decent chunk of change into this digital shoe. So I'm hoping it's somewhat interesting because from what I've heard so far and what I've seen, it's pretty interesting. This is the first NFT that I've seen that actually has somewhat of a utility to it, not literally just a JPEG still image. I thought, what a great time to get into this because Solana is really low right now. I think it's like $81. I mean, of course that's not, it wasn't when I bought it, but yeah. So that's, that's that. I just thought I'd talk about that for a little bit because you guys have been curious on my crypto journey. But yeah, let me show you guys what we sold over the week or over today. We sold these Zoom Fearlesses, Zoom, Zoom Fearlesses, Zoom Fearless. I don't know if you guys remember the Dallas sneaker exit vlog. We picked these up for $40 in a coin flip and we sold them for $120 making roughly like $67, 60-ish, something like that. So that was a great flip. Next up, we sold some GS Panda Dunks. We're making $30 on these. These literally sell like hotcakes. So if you can get them like 30 to, maybe I'd say 25 to $40 under ask, I would say buy them every single time because you can get a little bit above ask on these because they're just so in demand, they're so hard to keep. So I would definitely recommend going for these if you guys can get them a little bit under ask. Or if you guys do consignment, I know a lot of the homies out there do consignment and they make some serious bread. Um, but we also sold these Georgetowns that we picked up for making $40 on these. And then last but not least, some gym red ones, literally worn once, super, super clean. These sold on GOAT and we're making, I think like $55 on these. So nice little light day. Those are probably gonna be the last shoes that sell this week before I leave for Kobe's. Kobe's, it's gonna be a great weekend. We're bringing roughly 16, 16 little Benjamins to Kobe's. So we should make a nice little dent. I'm hoping to picking up like 80-ish pairs. That would be great. I will see you guys in the morning to test out this app. And then after my run in the morning, I'm gonna end the video, so. All right, what's up guys? So I went to the gym this morning to try out that new running thing I did. So in all honesty, I was gonna record, but it lasted like seven minutes, the energy thing. I honestly really don't know how it works. Uh, it's got like a cool down time. It refills 0.5 out of two every like five hours. And it doesn't seem to last very long. I earned, in that seven minutes, I did earn nine, like nine pence of a, of a coin, which is worth roughly like $4 right now. So seven minutes of running for probably like $2.80. And all honestly, that's not worth it at all, especially for how long it takes to refill your little energy thing. Next video, maybe I'll get a little better understanding of how it works. So I'll update it next week in the life or when I'm back home. But for now, I have to get ready for San Diego. I'm not ending the video just yet. I'm gonna pack up these boxes we're gonna go drop them off at UPS. We're gonna go grab some cash, fill up the gas in the car, and then we're gonna end this video. So let's, let's, let's go. Let's go pack up some shoes. All right guys, so we just finished packing up all the orders. There's like 11 boxes there. I'm gonna go hop in the car and we're gonna go over to UPS.
All right, so I just shipped out all the packages. You guys can see, car's empty. We went to the bank, got a car wash, and that was it. So now I'm gonna go home and we're gonna wrap this video up. What is up guys? I am about to leave to San Diego, just got back home. But I'm gonna end it here. It's been a crazy four or five days. I honestly don't know how long we've been recording it. We shipped out like, I wanna say like 75 packages this week. So the support has been insane. I cannot thank you guys enough. It's a slow grind, but it's, it's beautiful. The journey is beautiful, I love it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate if you guys left a like, maybe commented something. Um, it helps the video boost up an algorithm so more people can click on it and maybe we can move out of the parents cribbo. So <laughs> if not, leave a dislike, leave a hate comment. I don't care. Maybe you guys want to go follow me on Instagram. It'll be right here. If you guys want to go cop some shoes, sell some shoes, maybe even trade. I don't really do trades, but maybe you can try. Or if you guys don't have Instagram for whatever reason, there'll be a link to my eBay store down in the description. It'll be the first link at the top. Click that and you guys can browse some of my inventory. I've been having a few problems with eBay lately. I haven't been able to post stuff. But as soon as I figure that out, it'll be posted with a whole bunch of new stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one. And until next time, guys, peace. I said, baby, like, whoa, huh? I cannot feel any more. Stuck to these bands like I need me some more, yeah. I have been rolling a doja. Everything feeling so close. Think that I need me some closure. She trying to pull up to shows. Nigga, I'm counting as dough. Hold before, yeah.